Well done. I salute you, young man called Elvis, and uh, your Chili's program. Uh, it, the fact that you went into Chili's, it's, it's not an easy business. It's a tough business. That means you've got something about you, that firmness of character, that strength of character. Because harvesting chili is not for the soft, uh, soft-hearted or people with soft hands. You, it's a hard job. I've seen the people who do it, and many Ugandans just gave up. They just couldn't handle chili, which is a barrier to entry. So you are doing well. The challenge, of course, then is the guys who do it on a bigger scale normally are the ones with the market access to market. But the market is huge out there, and it's an easy product to keep. It won't go bad on you that quickly, and uh, not many people come to steal your harvest when you're harvesting. So. You talk to the Uganda Export Promotion Board, they have a lot of tips. If you go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, nearly every embassy has got a commercial attaché. And the government's policy today is commercial diplomacy. Their role at the embassy, at every embassy, every high commission Uganda has out there, is to get markets for Uganda goods. So they will connect you willingly, happily, at no fee to buyers of this product. Your challenge is to meet the photosanitation standards, the packaging standards, so that you can actually build up the volumes to export consistently. When you're given an order, it won't be a one-off order. Send me 20 kilos, send me 100 kilos, one-off. They normally want you to have a supply chain that is now reliable. And if you say I can supply every fortnight um, one ton or half a ton of chilies consistently, if it means forming a cooperative so that you can win such a contract, that's what you've got to start doing. It all comes out of doing your homework. But there are very many people who are doing this. There's one company in Uganda called KK Fresh, I think. They've been exporting. They buy and consolidate from everybody. They make a very good margin. So go and see their model. Start selling to them for the time being until you grow your businesses, until you can export on your own. If you think you can export on your own, go ahead. But that level of business is fraught, fraught with, um, with, with a lot more risks, a lot more uncertainties. And uh, how will I export my goods, the cost of export, the insurance. So all these things will be challenges which you can overcome. None of them are insurmountable. But start somewhere and you'll, get, you'll be successful. Good luck.